Hi guys, this is a really short video today. Um, hopefully you're able to hear me, but I don't know what it's going to be like because the, we're at the main bus stop, one of the main bus stops in Vladimir, and uh, the traffic's pretty noisy right now. But I want to make this video about the place that's behind me. And basically this place is called Rospichat. Rospichat is basically Rus from Russia, from Russia, and Pichat, I guess, just print. So basically what they're selling is, is just like magazines and newspapers and stuff like that. So that's traditionally where this kiosk, uh, the name has come from. So it's Russian printing, I guess, the kind of name put together. Um, and they sell all sorts of things. They basically sell newspapers and magazines. I don't know who actually buys newspapers and magazines that much anymore, I suppose. If you're going on the train or something, you want a crossword and stuff like that. But most people, I guess, online, I haven't bought an, uh, a newspaper or anything for a long time. But they also sell loads of different stuff, like some of them are going to sell drinks, uh, you know, like, you know, soft drinks, maybe some chocolates, um, pens, pencils. It's like a kind of like a stationery shop. So yeah, so if you're in Russia and you need a pen, pencil, pencil shop, and I don't know, like crayons maybe, maybe uh, something for your uh, kids to play with, a little toy or something where they're, while they're on the bus or something, then Rospichat, you can get everything here. Um, they probably sell tickets and things like that, I guess. Some of them, some of them sell different things, um, but they're usually blue. And it's, even behind me, it says Gazetti, which means, um, which means uh, not newspapers, the other one, uh, magazines. So uh, yeah, so what does it mean? Maybe it means newspapers, sure, no. No, it means magazines. Okay, so yeah, so. You can get everything there, basically. So batteries and stuff. I'll, 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 sh I'll film through the window right now before and see if I can do it without getting told off. Um, but let's have, a, let's have a try. you see is most people pay through the window so most of them don't have doors on I guess it's, if it's a really massive one maybe they have doors but you pay through the window um, and this one's selling souvenirs and stuff like that just because basically it's right in the center of Vladimir um, selling cuddly toys and all sorts to be fair so um, let's wait till someone pays and see if we can find them uh, buying something through the window <laughs> These places used to sell cigarettes, but I think now most of them don't. Um, you can only buy cigarettes now in specific places. So if it's like in the center of a town, or if it's a, uh, near a school, anything like that, they're not gonna sell cigarettes. So you have to go to a special cigarette shop to get them, um, or somewhere that's you know, it's licensed, because I can't think of many places uh, near to bus stops, you're not gonna be able to get cigarettes anymore, I don't think. Even on the window here, it says, we do not sell tobacco products. One other great thing, of course, about this place is that the lady, or usually it is the lady sitting inside, they know the area. So if you've got a question, you, don't, you, wanna, you wanna ask something, you're lost or you want directions, they're quite happy to help you usually. 